For Liverpool, this season is technically over. And the most interesting topic for fans now is what the team will look like next season with our Neslot. In this video, Football Club will tell you about all the transfer rumors, Liverpool's targets, outgoing transfers and what the Red Squad will look like in the 2024-25 campaign. Let's go! Let's start with the foundation for any team. The goalie position. Obviously, Alisson Becker will remain the first choice, but his backup is likely to change. Kuivin Kelleher, who has been Liverpool's second goalkeeper for the past few years, wants to have a regular playing time, and you can't blame him for that, so the Irishman will move with a 90% probability. The Reds currently have two options to replace him. Football Insider reports that the Merseysiders have a concrete interest in 21-year-old Burnley goalkeeper James Trafford. The men City graduate is a European champion with the England youth team and has excellent prospects. The downside for Liverpool will be his price. Burnley only bought Trafford from City last summer for £15 million, which means that the Merseysiders will have to pay more to get the player. Anyway, Liverpool have another great option. The name of this option is Vitislav Jarosz. The 22-year-old Czech goalkeeper is a graduate of the Rats Academy and this season he made a breakthrough in his career. In the winter, he went on loan to play for Austrian side Storm and so far this experience has been super successful for him. His club have already won the Austrian Cup and are leading the league with three games to go. By the way, Storm can interrupt the hegemony of Red Bull Salzburg, who have been champions for 10 seasons in a row. And in this enchanting season from Storm, Jaros plays a key role. So Liverpool have two good options to back up Allison. Now let's move on to the fullback position. Currently, the Reds have the following options. Andy Robertson and Kostas Tsimikas on the left, and Trent Alexander-Arnold and Connor Bradley on the right. We will also include here Joe Gomez, who can play any position in the defense. Of all these players, Tsimikas is the most likely to leave the club. The Greek has no playing time and does not meet Liverpool's high standards. Journalist Sam McGuire reports that Joe Gomez may also leave the Reds. The reason is the same, the lack of a regular starting spot. Joe is appreciated in Liverpool, but if he wants to leave, he will be allowed to go. If Gomez leaves, Liverpool will turn their attention to Feyenoord captain Luzarel Gerritruida. This season, he plays as a right back, but like Gomez, he can play anywhere in the defense. Of course, in this video, we will often mention Feyenoord's players because Arne Slot, quite logically, will want to bring several footballers with him. The Reds will also be looking for a left back in the summer, who will initially compete with a 30-year-old Robertson and eventually become the main man in this position. Liverpool are currently considering two major names, Ryan Ayit Nouri from Wolves and Quilin Chi Hartman from Feyenoord. Ayit Nouri's advantage is his experience in the Premier League. At 22, he already has 95 matches in the EPL and is a perfect fit for the Reds' attacking philosophy. Transfer Markt estimates the Algerian at 32 million euros. As for Hartman, his advantage is the experience of working with Slot at Feyenoord and the coach will probably want to continue working with a familiar player. After all, it was with Slot that Hartman won the added easy and became a player of the Dutch national team. He should be cheaper than Ait Nouri and is estimated at 23 million euros. However, he is currently recovering from a serious knee injury and will not be able to play until the end of the year. Liverpool have already started looking at centre-backs for the summer transfer window as one of the priority positions to cover, Fabrizio Romano shared. Indeed, signing a centre-back is an absolute priority for the club. Joel Matip will leave the Reds in the summer. Jarel Quansal lacks experience and his development should be gradual. Ibrahim Konate is injury-prone. That leaves only Virgil van Dijk, who turns 33 in the summer and who also needs to be given a rest sometimes. So there is an option where the Reds will sign not one, but two centre-backs. Journalist Pedro Almeida shared an insight that the two main targets for this position are Gonzalo Inacio from Sporting and Mickey van de Ven from Tottenham. Earlier, Bill drove to that Liverpool are keen on signing the 22-year-old William Pacho from Eintracht. All three of these players are united by the fact that their strong foot is left. The Reds have long wanted to add a left-footed centre-back to the squad, and while the transfer of van de Ven is unlikely, Spurs will not be willing to let their key player go to rivals, the signing of either of the Inacio a patch up here is absolutely possible. Other names that appear in the press are Marco Gueye of Crystal Palace, Levy Colwell of Chelsea and David Hanko of Feyenoord. 
As for the center of the pitch, it should be noted that slot plays in the 4-2-3-1 formation and the triangle of players in the middle consists of the number 10 and two players behind him. The most problematic position here is the defensive-minded midfielder. At the moment, the only profile player in this position in Liverpool is Wataru Endo. But the Japanese is 30 years old and cannot be a long-term solution to the problem. The number one option to strengthen the position is Mats Weifer from Feyenoord. He, again, is very familiar with Slot, who invited him to Feye back in the day. He is absolutely a key player in his team and dominates in the center of the pitch in almost every match in the Eredivisie. The transfer of this 24-year-old Dutchman looks extremely likely, although not guaranteed. The other position in the pivot is reserved for Alexis McAllister, who will be the key for Liverpool in any scenario. Dominic Sabasley is still the favorite for the number 10 position, although the Hungarian can also play on the wings. Ryan Gravenberg, Harvey Elliott, Curtis Jones are the players who are close to the starting lineup and may eventually win their place. But Mail Sport writes that Slot is very interested in inviting Atalanta midfielder Tune Cup Miners. The Dutchman also impressed Liverpool's bosses when Atalanta knocked the Reds out of the Europa League with a 3 0 win at Anfield. In fact, this season has been extremely successful for Tune in terms of attacking returns. He has 14 goals and 5 assists in 43 matches. The advantage of Cup Miners is that he can play in any position in the center of the pitch, both defensive midfielder and attacking. These transfer looks quite likely given the player's desire to take the next step in his career. Carlos Baleba from Brighton and Quinton Timber from Feyenoord are also linked to Liverpool, although their transfers are rather unlikely. One big change could be in store for Liverpool's wings. David Lynch and other journalists write that PSG has made Reds winger Luis Diaz the main option to replace Kylian Mbappe. And if the Merseysiders are offered about 100 million euros for the Colombian, he will leave the club. To replace him, Liverpool will enter the market and there are four options. One most desirable and three alternatives. The ideal solution for the club would be to sign Florian Wirtz, young, talented and perfectly coached by Chabi Alonso at Bayer. However, the German would cost more than 100 million euros. Selling Diaz and investing this money with a top-up in Wirtz is strategically a profitable investment. Liverpool have always worked in this manner, so there is definitely a possibility of this transfer. In case of failure with Wirtz, the club can sign Hvica Kvartelia from Napoli, Nico Williams from Athletic or Pedro Neto from Wolves. Each of them will be keen on the move to Anfield, so it'll be easier to acquire them. As for the right wing, despite the recent poor months, Mo Salah will remain in Liverpool. This has already been stated by both the club and the player himself, so no changes are planned here. The Reds are also interested in Leeds winger Crescencio Somerville, who has 30 goal contributions this season in the championship. This is an option for the future, but a transfer of the 22-year-old Dutchman is also quite likely. As for the center forward position, it looks like Liverpool will continue to trust Darwin Nunez. The Uruguayan has been heavily criticized for his poor conversion rate, which gives the impression of a terrible season. Darwin does have problems with this, but if you look at his numbers, he has 31 goal contributions so far this season, 18 goals and 13 assists. Vinicius Jr., for example, has only one more, 32 goal contributions, and the Brazilian is rightly called one of the best players on the planet. So, trusting Nunez for another season seems like a logical decision. If Darwin improves his conversion rate at least a little bit, we may see the birth of a real monster. In addition, Diogo Jota and Cody Gakpo remain at the club and they are always ready to replace the Uruguayan. However, if the Reds still want to change this entry forward, the main options are Sporting's Victor Guioqueras and Feyenoord's Santiago Jimenez. The Swede is destroying the Portuguese league this season, scoring 40 goals in 46 matches, adding 15 assists and Jimenez. Menes is, again, a player familiar to slot. To summarize all of the above, Liverpool will have a roughly the following lineup next season. It has everything, depth, quality and most importantly, hunger for victory. What do you think? Write in the comments what such a squad under our next slot will be able to achieve and like this video if you are looking forward to a new chapter in Liverpool's history.